Hello, Wendy here. Um, I'm visiting with you from the land of enchantment, uh, Santa Fe, New Mexico. And I'm gonna talk to you about Louisiana, but it seems just like I couldn't miss a chance today because look at this chamisa. Y'all, this is like one of my favorite plants ever. And it's at the tail end of blooming. I tell it good morning every day when I come out to get the paper. And um, I like these chamisas because they kind of have a life of their own. They, they, they just grow wild and reach for the sun. And, and then they have this magnificent yellow bursts of color. It reminded me of this Rodrigue painting from 2002, Gisela. It was actually painted while George was doing his hurricane series. Look how wonderful, right? Um, so here we also have this magnificent yellow orange plant, this time the great mighty Louisiana oak tree, but spiraling into this yellow, right? Vortex or cosmos or imagination or all the wonderful things George referenced at the spiral to, um, you know, perhaps one of the oldest symbols in art, right? I mean, anything you need for it to mean. Today, I think it means, um, well, the beautiful season of fall and um, the yellow of the chimisa and all the wonderful things to come. So to share a couple of those with you, first of all, I just got back from Baton Rouge and I was at the Louisiana Art Summit and also the LSU Museum of Art where, look guys, go by and pick up your sticker. They're free at the Shaw Center in Baton Rouge, um, put out by the LSU Museum of Art, which has, you know, fabulous exhibitions. Go check them out. Um, I don't miss it every time I'm in Baton Rouge. So and go get your free sticker. Next thing, I will be in uh, Louisiana again soon. This year is the 10th anniversary of George's death. And so I have really um, focused on being back in Louisiana, the state that he of course loved the most. And um, next up is the 23rd of October. I will be at the uh, Louisiana State Archives. And that will be a lecture there and also a reception open to the public. Um, I believe it's 5 to 7, 5 to 7.30, somewhere around in there. You can find it online. And um, I'm going to have some really cool pieces with me that you may have never seen before. And integrate that with an exploration of Louisiana history, because it is the archives after all. And I'll bring some cool Rodrigue archives and artifacts to complement that idea. Uh, that's on October 23rd. Next up is October 29th, and that is the Ethel Claiborne Dameron Lecture Series. I've been honored to be invited to be their keynote for this, um, and that is at the West Baton Rouge Museum, hosted by the West Baton Rouge Historical Society. That is definitely free and open to the public at 2 p.m. on the 29th. That is also the last day of the museum's exhibition, um, the River is the Road, paintings by George Rodrigue. So come check out the exhibition and please join me for the lecture and the reception and some, you know, wonderful uh, visiting during this beautiful fall season, surrounded by some great art and art lovers. And that, oh, by the way, that lecture is called um, George Rodrigue Reflections of Love. I promise you're gonna like it, so come see that. After that, on November the 4th, I will be um, speaking for the Louisiana Art Education Association for their uh, fall conference, which is in Baton Rouge. And uh, I believe that's a lunchtime one. They haven't posted the, the exact times yet. So check out their uh, website. I believe it's laea.org. And we're also updating that information on our website at, as well. And then finally, on December the 9th, um, I will be the, the speaker for the, um, the Center for um, Louisiana Women in Government and Business. I'm quite honored about that. I don't know yet if that one is at Nichols or it's at um, perhaps the Marriott in New Orleans. They haven't posted it yet, but stay tuned and watch. I think it's gonna be in New Orleans. And I believe that's a luncheon one too. So please come and join me. Um, I thought with that one, I'd get a little brave and bold on this and talk about some of the obstacles that have come up with regards to, um, well, getting my programming accomplished. With people telling me, mostly men, I hate to say, you can't do that. Well, why not? Why can't I bring original paintings into schools? Um, why can't I visit with kids about the mental challenges of, um, well, 
illness and death and loss and grief and living and life and love, enjoying life. So I thought I would broach those, those subjects. And um, by the way, that's what I'm gonna talk about at the Louisiana Art Educators Association also on November 4th. Um, kind of use exact um, examples of what I've experienced with children and with educators as I've gone into schools, now over 140 of them um, around the country. So um, I've really experienced a wide range of demographics and lessons in um, inclusivity and diversity and equality and you know let's uh let's explore some of those together so please come and join me uh, we're updating regularly you can see the full schedule and how you can get involved at legacyarttour.org and um i will see you soon louisiana by the way this whole thing is accompanied by a louisiana statewide school tour so you can check out those too i'll be in cities throughout the state um, throughout the rest of this year and then early next year uh, all in the new iberia region as we pay tribute to george rodrigue with a big exhibition there george rodrigue painting for myself at the bayou tesh museum coinciding with george's 80th birthday on march 13th i look forward to seeing all of you Happy fall, everyone. And remember, Teresa, grow and expand and reach. And, uh, you know, reach for the sunshine.